Oh. Standing, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in for the uh, near collar, get, get it nice and high, and I want to control the near sleeve, nearest to me. Typically, grab and just give it a grab. Preference would be uh, pocket grip, but I'm probably not going to get that. I'm just going to grab it. Pull him down really low. I want to break his posture down so he can't grab a leg or anything and then step to one side, ever so slightly off the side, and this right leg is going to go straight to his far hip, and this is going to shoot through Della Hiva. Okay, key here, I'm pulling him into me, both his arm, see how I'm really pulling, I'm trying to look at my, look what time it is, and pull him down real close to me. My knee wants to almost be in his chest, so if he does try to uh, pull away, it's going to be hard for him because I've really broken him down. Okay, once he's finished struggling, I'm going to keep this uh, broken down. My right hand is going to transition, and I'm going to grab the, uh, the inside of the pants, the pocket grip. I can grab the heel, the preference to me is this, so if he tries to kick his leg over there to the, to the fire escape, he can't because I've got control of it. Okay, so this is the kind of grip I want to keep pulling him down. My knee is going to be pulled to my chest, okay, and I want to turn it that way so I expose his hamstring. That's quite important. I don't want his knee turning that way, otherwise he's going to essentially kill my Della Hiva. The hook comes off. Okay, so I want to make sure that I break it down. You could grab the heel and pull the heel also, which would help with the turn. But if you've got strong enough legs, then you can do this. Okay, once I've got this grip, okay, he's going to maybe settle down his bum a little bit and get some, get yeah, a bit more of a better posture. He's going to grab my knee. Okay, and then he's maybe going to stand up a little bit and start to push it between his legs. That's the pass he wants. He wants to push that through and he wants to get round. Okay. So we get back to this position, I'm on his, I'm on his hip, he grabs my knee, as soon as he does, I, I'm going to find it's hard to break, so I pull my knee to my chest and grab it. Okay, I can't just grab it there, reach for it, I pull my knee and I grab a pocket grip. My foot then circles inside his bicep and I push it out. So now I've got this almost diagonal style cross here. Okay, he'll probably re-grip it, which is fine. Okay, I keep this knee pushing that way, I don't let it go slack. Okay, from this, what I do is I'm going to circle it out, I'm going to kick that leg far over there, I'm going to pull this up that way, so it'll break his grip. Okay, what I do then is I pull this arm close to my head, I'm looking at the time again, see what time it is. This foot here is then going to, put, is going to go on the inside here of his knee, okay? Pulling him in tight, making sure that his posture, see how his posture is broken down, he's never standing up straight. From this motion, I'm going to kick his leg out, I'm going to pull this in, and I'm going to sit up, and my head is going to try and connect to his hip. One more motion. Okay. So I'm sitting up. As soon as I sit up, I'm, doing, I'm breaking this down, but I'll do it fast. As soon as I sit up, I push this straight through his, uh, between his legs. Notice this foot is planted. It doesn't go floppy, it plants, and this wraps around. I push this through. Okay, come around and see this. The difference here, you guys, put your head up a second. I grab my own wrist here. I don't try and pass it because chances are as soon as I pass he pulls away and I lose it, okay? And I go for something else. So I push and I figure four my hands here. This hand then on top of it and then just grab this little bit of cloth here. There's always going to be a bit of cloth so I grab it here, okay? Depending on my size I could grab here, okay? But ideally I want to grab here, scrape my fingers down until I've got enough gi. Of course my head is going to be close in here, but for the purpose of this explanation I want it out so you can hear me. But it's going to be here, okay? I grab, I curl down, I grab cloth. Notice my foot stays, it never comes down, it passes. So I keep it on here the whole time. My head is going to be in. What I do now is I kick this leg out, I turn this knee that way, and I roll my shoulder and pull him down. So all one big motion, nice and slow when you're training, so you don't want to hurt your partner. Okay, circle down, push. Let him roll. Okay? Okay. Notice my head now stays here. Okay, and I come up. Okay, from here I can press down. I can really start to compress him down. What you see here is I'm keeping my head into him and I want to kill this space and this space. Push his shoulder down and kill this leg down. So I'm, I'm basically twisting his spine. Keep it down. Head in here. I can grab, I can cross my leg. I can do whatever if I want to, I can come here, I can move around. He's only got two options. He either stays there or he turns his knees, he turns the other way. 
I start to attack the back. Okay, 